hey my lovelies welcome back again to my channel in today's video we'll be making a diy shebe oil for hair growth um and i'm going to show you exactly how i do it now as you can see there's a pot and a bowl on top of the stove because we're gonna infuse the shebe powder to make the diy shebe oil for hair growth so i'm gonna use two tablespoons of the shebe powder to make my diy shebe oil and i'm also going to be using my extra virgin olive oil because this oil is a penetrating oil you really want to use penetrating oils when you're using shebe because they are moisturizing oils they actually penetrate into your hair shaft especially if you have low porosity hair so about one cup of oil i did not measure guys but it's about one cup of olive oil all right guys so the next oil that i'll be using i'm just gonna mix up the ingredients now shebe it's known to moisturize the hair now this oil is, I, I was actually shocked guys when i finished making this shebe oil for hair growth i actually noticed that the oil is very thick especially if you infuse it it, it gets thick and it's very very moisturizing guys to the hair and um next oil that i'll be using is the coconut oil now coconut oil is one of those penetrating oils as well and it actually grows the hair faster i have also used this um on my challenge when i was using coconut oil every day to grow out my hair and i saw a lot of growth with using coconut oil every day so it actually grows the hair faster and it's one of the penetrating oils as well now the next oil is uh, avocado oil now avocado oil is rich in vitamin e and it's also known to strengthen the hair follicles and to strengthen the individual strand of the hair to make it thicker as well and it's also a penetrating oil so i'll be using that as well to make my diy shebe oil for hair growth Ag. so this is my shebe oil it's infusing you guys so you 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 can leave this to infuse for about 30 minutes to an hour and then when we're finished you can leave it there to just sit all right guys and then you can strain out the shebe oil all right guys so that is what i'm doing now i'm just straining out the oil but here guys that's how i make my homemade diy shebe oil for hair growth as you can see there are no powders there's no residue in the shebe oil no residue at all you guys um i think the powders makes the scalp to be very itchy that is what I honestly think, you guys, about the shebe powder itself. If you are using the powders on your hair, if it gets on your scalp, I think that's why the scalp itches. But if you are using the oil on its own, I don't think it itches, guys, because I actually used a little bit of oil on my edges just to test and see whether it itches. I wasn't getting any kind of itching on my edges. So I actually used um, the shebe oil on my edges all right on all of my edges all right and i'm not getting any kind of itching all right guys in today's video i will be showing you how i make my shebe conditioner cream for hair growth and also how i make it from scratch and how i apply it on my hair and i'll be using penetrating oils on my hair to mix it with the shebe powder now as you can see i have a pot underneath a bowel this is how i'm going to be infusing my shebe oil now i know that what i'm about to do it's a little bit different from what people do but um just stay with me and you're gonna see exactly what i am doing so i'm going to infuse the shebe powder with my penetrating oils because i really want the oils to to have the shebe powder infused in it if you understand what i mean so that is what i really really am after um so i'm going to be putting two tablespoons of the shebe powder and i'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of coconut oil now coconut oil it's a very good oil because it's one of the oils that actually penetrates the scalp all right that actually penetrates your follicles and nourish them i've also done a challenge on coconut oil and guys it really grows the hair very fast if you use it on a consistent basis now i'm also using an avocado oil now avocado oil is one of those oils as well that is penetrating if you are using the avocado 
oil now avocado oil actually penetrates into your hair strands into your cuticles and into your scalp as well so the reason why i chose these oils because they penetrate inside the follicles to nourish them to strengthen them so that is why i'm using avocado oil the next oil that i will be using is extra virgin olive oil now extra virgin olive oil is one of those oils as well that penetrates into your cuticles especially if you have low porosity hair you really want to use oils that penetrate into your hair cuticles and into your scalp as well so that is the oil that i will be using in today's video now all the measurements will be in the description box below guys go and check them out these are the oils that you must use if you don't have them don't worry just use the oils that you have because of course we will not be applying this shebe on our scalp it's just for the hair all right guys so uh yeah so just use the oils that you have but as for me uh to make this shebe oil actually this is the shebe oil some other people actually go on ahead and apply this to the hair but as for me i'm not going to be doing that i will be uh, mixing it with the conditioner now i will be also applying the castor oil now this is the secret as well to making your shebe oil for hair growth uh, because it is a sealing oil now this is not a moisturizing oil it is a sealing oil so when i apply this shebe it's going to moisturize my hair and it's also going to seal in the moisture at the same time so that's why i've chose uh, i've chosen to use a uh, castor oil now i also love my rice brain oil because it's rich in vitamin e vitamin e is known to grow hair faster so i really love 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 this oil if you're my regular watcher you're already know that i use um rice bran oil on a consistent basis now as you can see that form in the oil it shows that the oil has been infusing very very well and you can see it's uh the oil has gotten darker all right showing that the shebe powder is infused well in the oils and i will be using hair tresses as my conditioner base all right you guys so i will be using this conditioner hair tresses and i will be mixing it up with my shebe oil for hair growth to make my shebe conditioner cream for hair growth so this will be my shebe powder leave-in conditioner cream for hair growth or you can say shebe leave-in conditioner diy conditioner cream whatever you want to call it but this i will be leaving it in my hair so i'm going to be mixing the conditioner with the oil now as you can see when i'm mixing this is the consistency that i'm getting now you guys you have to add in more conditioner to this mixture to make it a shebe conditioner diy leave-in conditioner hey what am i saying shebe <laughs> diy shebe leave-in conditioner eh? for hair growth you understand so i'll just be mixing it uh adding in a little bit of conditioner just to make the mixture a little bit thicker because i want it to be a little bit on the thicker side not on the watery side so i'll be adding more of the conditioner guys now others use the shebe powder leave-in conditioner now i'm not going to be doing that i will be mixing it with my conditioner because the shebe powder plus the oils they are a bit messy all right uh that is what i've heard people say so i will be using the shebe mixed with the conditioner to make it a shebe diy leave-in conditioner for hair growth so i'll just be um gradually adding the conditioner to make it a little bit thicker you guys and i really really love the consistency as well and you guys the slip that i was getting when i was applying this on my hair it was shocking look at this i really really love it 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 was really gliding through my hair you guys and i really really love this shebe diy leave-in conditioner wow <laughs> you guys the slip that i'm getting oh m jack <laughs> ah. 
look at that you guys and i'm going to put just a little bit more on my ends so guys i'm just going to to twist up my hair my hair is so soft my goodness i love this now you guys so far after i applied this shebe powder on my hair I, it, it still feels damp, like it's very moisturized. Honestly, so I love enough. it. Look at that, you guys. I'm going to apply it on my ends. Wow. You guys. Hi. I'm just going to comb the hair. All right, so I think the powder is there to keep in the moisture. Now, when you mix the shebe powder with the oils, it will make your hair super moisturized depending on the oils that you're using but the shebe itself it actually helps to retain the moisture in your hair the reason why our hair always breaks off is because our hair is dry it's not moisturized but you guys this is the next day my hair is damp it's moisturized i'm actually shocked with this shebe you guys even the application of the shebe conditioner all right lovelies welcome back again to my channel if you're new here please subscribe and don't miss out on my diy videos and guys i will be making an onion ginger garlic and flaxseed gel together with shebe oil to make a best powerful pre pull for my daughter's hair you guys uh, i've been neglecting a hair <laughs> <laughs> because i'm kind of tired you understand you're just doing hair here here you understand so uh, <laughs> i was kind of neglecting a hair but cha today i thought of doing this powerful treatment adding the ginger garlic onion flax seeds and the shebe oil now ginger is very very powerful because it stimulates blood on the scalp now i've actually used the ginger garlic and onion uh, juice on my scalp guys <laughs> the stimulation that i was getting it was like legit stimulation you understand <laughs> <laughs> legit stimulation you understand these three are powerful the garlic onion and ginger they are super powerful if you want to thicken your hair in no time use these three so i'll also be using garlic as well now garlic is rich in vitamin c it also boosts the collagen production now if you know anything about hair you know that collagen actually helps our hair and our skin as well so guys hey <laughs> gariak Ah, garlic <laughs> so i'm going to be using the guru of treatments onion ah, it's just that it smells chow polyos but this onion is the best you can ever use on your hair it stimulates blood on the scalp it thickens the hair it actually reduces hair fall and hair loss as well it also deals with dandruff chow it has a lot of benefits that it has that it brings to the hair as well so i'll also be adding this to my powerful flaxseed gel uh garlic ginger onion shebe oil oh <laughs> cha everything you understand so i'm going to be adding these three all right guys so just keep on watching don't skip anything you understand uh the reason why i did not take the pills off from the ginger because child the ginger is just i, I don't have the strength to be taking off the pills you understand <laughs> i'm kind of tired <laughs> <laughs> but child, the pills are full of nutrients too so yeah it's a win-win situation you understand <laughs> so i'm not taking off the pills child, but all right guys so i'm going to be putting this in the pot all right and then when i do this and i'm going to add in my flax seeds now i've also done a video on how to make flax seed gel for hair growth and how to make flax seed oil for hair growth you can go and check out those videos in the description box below you can go and check the may out okay and i'm going to be using two tablespoons of the flax seeds um to make this a powerful treatment for pre pulling actually three three tablespoons Child, sorry okay i'm getting old three tablespoons and add in water now you can add in water 
or you can add in cold water it's just it just depends with you child whichever you want to do uh, you understand <laughs> all right guys so i'm going to let it boil but do not uh, leave it on the stove for long because it's gonna thicken like you can't even use it when it's too thick so when it's this kind of consistency then you take it off from the stove you guys you understand Take it off, you understand? Don't leave it there to just boil for nothing. <laughs> just take it. So this is my shape oil that I did yesterday. If you did not see that video, please go and check that video out. I'll actually be adding my flaxseed, onion, garlic, and ginger uh, mixture to the shape oil because I will be applying this on my daughter's hair hair all right you guys so yeah go and check that video out so this is what the mixture is looking like Cha! it's looking delicious for the hair <laughs> now shebe chao shebe has been so good to me going to be adding this um a flaxseed gel garlic ginger and onion and shebe oil right on my daughter say i don't even know how to call this treatment child police it has a lot of ingredients so as you can see um i was still applying the moringa conditioner that i did in my last video but i was kind of neglecting it here because i wasn't doing it every day and also i promised you guys that i will be uh, applying the moringa conditioner for seven days and i'll show you what my daughter's hair will look like child i couldn't do it sorry <laughs> i couldn't do it you understand i was kind of lazy to be doing it every day you understand so please forgive me uh-huh if you forgive me just comment below that forgive forgiven <laughs> so that i know that you have forgiven me child please <laughs> but um i can literally see that the moringa conditioner it really really thickened up my daughter say you guys i was kind of shocked i was like how oh, child police my daughter say was thick and young uh, so yeah i was using that moringa conditioner if you want to see that video i'll leave it in the description box okay go and check it out all right guys so i'm just applying the treatment the flaxseed gel onion garlic and ginger and shebe oil uh mixed together and I'm not really massaging a scalp because of the shebe. This is actually the first time I'm using shebe on her hair. So I don't know how she's going to react, whether she's going to scratch. I do not know. Oh, I don't know. So I did not actually uh, massage the scalp with this treatment. I just want to see how she reacts to the shebe. Ag all right guys so yeah um but i'm very very happy i'm very glad with the um progress of my daughter's hair it's really thickening and looks very healthy and i really really love it and sometimes it's also good to just leave her hair alone you guys not always touching it all that time i job please that's too much manipulation you understand so <laughs> neither your hair doesn't need all that manipulation you just have to leave it alone to grow out you understand so yeah guys um if you have watched till this time hey you like my channel a lot you understand so please like it and share and also comment below don't just watch and click off hey child, you have to comment and eh? what you see in the video just comment and let me know what you think all right guys thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate you and thank you i will see my next one god willing bye for gonna make our own diy shebe hair butter all right you guys and i'm gonna show you exactly how i make it so this is my one tablespoon of the shebe hair 
uh powder all right guys and i used one and a half uh, tablespoons of the shebe powder now with the oils i did not measure you guys but you can use one third of a cup of each oil all right you guys i did not measure i just poured in the oil i'm sorry about that i know you guys you love measurements when making like butters but you can use one third of a cup of olive oil and avocado oil now is the same as well with my extra virgin olive oil i love using these oils because they are very moisturizing to the hair as i always say in my video guys when you are using oils use olive oil coconut oil or avocado oil because these oils actually penetrates into your cuticles uh, but if you don't have these oils you can use any oil that you have guys you don't have to use exactly what i have so what i'm doing right now i'm just infusing the shebe powder in those oils guys for about an hour because this will help a lot with uh, me making the shebe butter for hair growth and i'm also going to be using my castor oil two tablespoons of the castor oil you guys castor oil actually helps um with thickening your natural hair as well so as you can see i haven't it's infusing but look at that now it's darker in color so that is what you want you want all the nutrients and all the good stuff to come out from the shebe powder to go into your oils so that is what i normally do when i'm using my shebe powder i normally infuse it because um you get all those goodness all that goodness or all those goodness hi chapalias <laughs> so so what i'm gonna do now I'm just going to put some hot water in that bowl and put in another bowl on top and melt my butter. Now, as I've said, I did not measure. I was not measuring all these things, you guys. I was just eyeballing everything. Ah, sorry. You understand? I'm sorry, child police. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take uh, a cloth and just squeeze out the oil and i'm not going to be using the powders in this uh shebe hair butter diy all right you guys so this is the shebe oil that you see here there's no powders in there it's just the shebe oil the shebe infused oil so i'm just going to pour that shebe oil inside the butter all right you guys and just uh strain it because this butter it had um, a little bit of particles in it which i don't like so that's why i'm straining it but as for you, you 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 don't have to strain as you can see look at those particles i don't like them in my butter that's why i strained it so yes you guys i'm going to put my um shebe diy hair butter inside the fridge for about five to ten minutes um but do not leave it to sit there for a long time um if you feel like it has solidified not too much as you can see i'm going to poke in it um it's very soft that's what you want you don't want it to be too hard because it's going to be too hard to mix up all right you guys so as you know on this channel we beat up that shebe hair butter beat it up ako. beat it up like crazy <laughs> <laughs> so you guys i really love shebe butter because it really really moisturizes the hair and i'm going to be showing you how i actually use the diy shebe hair butter on my daughter's hair as well and it was super moisturizing when i was applying it to her hair and i really really love it now i'm going to be adding again my castor oil because i love adding more oils in it um especially soon after i finish um blending it like this or mixing it like this i love adding more oil so that the butter will become soft you don't want your butter to be hard so that is why i add um a little bit of oil inside as you can see it's now soft 
which is what you want you don't want it to be too hard you guys so yes this is how you make your shebe hair butter for natural hair or your shebe hair butter or your shebe diy hair butter for natural hair growth As you can see it's very soft i feel like eating yet <laughs> it looks like ice cream you understand <laughs> oh oh cool so guys i'm going to put it in my container how chow you have to have a container you understand if i say ah, it doesn't matter chow it matters you need to have a container like this to put your your diy shebe hair butter you understand so you need to have this eh? you need it so that is what i'm gonna do and um yeah and you can use this to moisturize your hair um whenever you feel like your hair is um dry you can use this guys to moisturize your hair hey lovelies first of all i want to say thank you so much for those who come back with feedback saying that my diys actually work for them i appreciate you guys if you're new to this channel hey, you have to subscribe if you don't subscribe you're going to miss out all the good goodies you understand so these are all the ingredients that i'm gonna use in today's video Ciao, just click on the red subscribe button and be part of the family if you are my regular watcher i want to say thank you so much for coming back again and for being a loyal watcher Ak all right so for this banana shebe hair mask for hair growth you're going to be needing a magic bullet and you're gonna need of course your banana now you want to use a ripe banana because if you use a banana that's not ripe it's not going to really come out smooth but if you have a banana that is not ripe you can always use that you guys um, but here we're gonna start up with the banana all right guys so banana is the best known for its potassium content with each containing around 422 mg you guys like most fruits banana contain vitamin c vitamin a and also an assortment of b vitamins they are rich in fiber as well as minerals like iron manganese and trace amounts of protein as well now <laughs> banana also helps to thicken up your hair if used on a consistent basis next up i'll be using my honey honey it's very very moisturizing to the hair you guys it actually leaves the hair super moisturized and it also helps to create or develop new cells on your scalp Ciao. <laughs> you have to start using honey in your treatment now the next one i'll be using is olive oil now i love olive oil because it's one of those penetrating oils that actually penetrates into the cuticles of the hair especially if you're low porosity all right you guys so you're going to use roughly one full tablespoon of the olive oil i really love olive oil like i said it's very very uh, moisturizing to the hair especially if you have low porosity hair now to my shebe powder <laughs> shebe shebe you understand i'm gonna use one tablespoon of the shebe powder into the mixture as well now shebe powder actually helps to moisturize the hair and to retain the moisture guys so you're gonna need one tablespoon of the shebe powder in this banana shebe powder mask hey banana shebe mask ciao is the banana shebe mask you understand all right guys so i will be using the aloe vera now aloe vera is very good it's known to actually help to to turn over dead cells you guys it also helps to regrow hair on both spots if used consistently and i've also done a challenge on aloe vera i've been using it only four days and my daughter's hair grew out a lot in just four days you guys so i'll put that video in the description box below so this is my banana shebe hair mask now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this baby up. Aka, blend it, chard. <laughs> Aka.
now i'm gonna be adding my castor oil because castor oil is very good for thickening up the hair especially if you're using it consistently guys so i'm going to be adding one tablespoon of the castor oil you can use black jamaican castor oil or the normal castor oil it works as well so i'm just gonna mix up the mixture like this and this is what the banana shebe hair mask for hair growth is looking like it's very smooth ciao it looks like smoothie understand it looks like a smoothie ah. so as you can see this is my daughter's hair you guys it's growing like crazy ah. this is her hair you guys <laughs> did you see the thumbnail if you have seen it comment below her hair is growing out like super crazy you understand so i'm just gonna spray the spray that i made yesterday i made the fenugreek and black seed uh, spray for hair growth yesterday i'll put also the video in the description box below so that's what i am spraying on your hair first before i apply the banana shebe hair mask for hair growth so i'll just be working it in if you're applying anything on your hair just make sure that you're working it in you guys because uh, if you just apply it on the hair and go and you don't work it in it's not gonna work Ak. it's not working child Ak. look at those curls they are actually popping out Ak. Hi, shebe is the beast you understand so i really think that banana and shebe is the best combination that you can use together to make a very very powerful and moisturizing hair mask for hair growth you guys so i'm just gonna be applying it all over her hair and she's gonna wear a plastic uh for about more than an hour you guys because i really wanted to cook Ak inside the hair you understand <laughs> we need this to cook and boil you understand so i'm just gonna apply this and leave it in your hair um and also she's wearing a hat on top all right guys so yeah maybe about two hours and i'll take it out i'll wash her hair i don't know whether i'm gonna be washing it with shampoo or just with water look at that you guys look at hi child comment below you understand believe us <laughs> it's growing out like crazy so yeah after after one hour or after two hours you can wash it out uh with water or you can use a shampoo whichever one you want to use it for uh, but here um i really reckon you should wash it with water because you don't want to take away that moisture that was created by the shebe because remember we have strained out the shebe powder so i don't think it's gonna be itching that much but if you feel like uh you have a lot of itching on your scalp just you know wash it with shampoo but if i see that my daughter's scalp is not itching that much i won't be washing it with shampoo but if it is i will be washing off the product with shampoo all right guys because i don't want her to be itching to be scratching a scar up so yeah this is the end result you guys as you can see the curls are really propping up thank you so much for watching if you've watched to the end god bless you and see you in my next one